Hello, welcome back to the VDC space. Today we're going to be modeling the grandstand or stadium stand in Revit. So we're just going to use system families such as the stairs in order for us to create this grandstand. And then we're going to place some families and then we're going to place some um, I section columns and also I section beams. And then we're going to create a roof by extrusion on top. The railings are going to be automatically generated after we generate the stairs. Now, before I get started, I would like to ask you guys to please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check my Patreon. You can actually get the files of these tutorials that I'm doing in in uh, in, in this uh, channel. So, without further ado, let's jump into Revit. So, I just open up the construction template. So, like I said, we're gonna use system families. We're gonna go with the stairs. And we're gonna choose the precast there option, and so the actual thread depth we're gonna change it to 800 millimeters, and the desired number of risers we're gonna make it seven. So we're gonna start with our threads, and then the first one we're gonna make it uh, 3,000 millimeters, and then we're gonna obviously have to create a walkway, so we're gonna make it 2,000 millimeters, and then another 3,000 millimeters so if i open up the 3d view this is basically how it looks as you can see it created a joint right there automatically so i'm gonna select uh, the these precast tests and then i'm gonna change the actual run width to 50,000 millimeters and then this one also we're gonna change it to 50,000 millimeters so this is basically what we have now if i say I'm gonna say finish edit mode and after i say finish edit mode this is basically what we have but i think uh let's just remove this actually it's more advisable to edit the desired number of risers and also and also the actual thread thread depth after you generate the stairs so we're gonna start again and make it 3000 millimeters create a walkway of 2000 millimeters and then another 3000 millimeters perfect now we're going to change the actual thread to 800 and then the desired number of risers to seven and say okay now if i go to the 3d view this is what i'm looking for now but i'm gonna have to edit this the actual run width yeah so we're gonna make it 50,000 millimeters and this one also we're gonna make it 50,000 millimeters this is perfect and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to create a, actually a landing on top so that we can place our columns so i'm gonna go to level one and say landing i'm gonna draw it sketch it and then place a rectangle from this point towards this point and then the length of this, I'm gonna make it 3000 millimeters so that we have efficient space so that people can move and also efficient space to place our uh, steel members. If I open up the 3D view, this is how it looks. It's gonna automatically create the joint right there. Perfect. When I say finish edit mode, it's gonna automatically generate our railings. So after this, I'm gonna go to the east uh, actually, I'm going to go to the level zero and then say structure, structure say wall, and then I'm going to choose uh, a retaining wall 300 millimeter concrete. I'm going to set the top, uh, top level to level one, and then I'm going to pick a finish face exterior for the location line, and then I'm going to start drawing my wall from this point. And then I'm gonna press tab just to change its position, and then it's gonna be placed on the inside of our grandstand. And then I'm just gonna place it like that. Open up the east elevation. So if I open up the, let's just go to south. So I'm gonna have to drag this. Uh, let's go to filter and say check none elevations and views. Okay. I'm just gonna drag it this side so that I can see. And then I'm gonna go to the east 
television again. So I'm gonna drag it towards the top. And then, yeah. So I'm gonna select the wall, edit profile, pick lines, and then I'm gonna pick these lines. And then I'm gonna say, trim and extend, extend, and then I'm gonna remove this line it and then as you can see we've edited this profile so it conforms to uh, the shape of the soffit of our stadium stand so i'm gonna say finish edit mode open up the 3d view this is how it looks so i'm gonna select it go to our floor plan and then i'm gonna say mirror pick axis i'm gonna pick the middle point Then it's going to be copied towards the other side so this is how it looks now obviously uh, we can place our families so for our families i'm going to go to insert and say load family and then we can go to metric library uk contents and then you can say furniture seating and then you can pick furniture chair auditorium and say open but these families you cannot uh, actually place them on top of your stairs so in order for you to, to modify that you can select your family go to edit family and say file new family and then you can say metric generic model and say open so you can go back to and go back to your family that you have uh, loaded and then you can say loading new uh, loading to project and close so you will load it into the new family that you have opened and say okay so i'm not gonna save this and then you can place it right on this generic model template and say loading to project i'm not gonna save this and now you can automatically move it so let me show you guys what i'm talking about this one it needs a host the original one that we have uh, that we have loaded from Autodesk uh, library it needs a host so you cannot um, move it by move it upwards by the move command but this one since we have loaded it into another template we can move it with the move command so I'm gonna remove this one so if I go to the east elevation set this to wireframe actually move this one automatically so I'm gonna move it like this and let's see the offset that we have so I'm just gonna make it a hundred say hundred millimeter hundred mils and if I go back to level zero I am gonna have to adjust this so I'm gonna go to architecture reference reference plane I'm gonna place a reference randomly this side and then I'm gonna an offset so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it a thousand thousand millimeters and then I'm gonna place uh, this stadium seating on this point then I'm gonna select this reference plane I'm gonna say mirror pick axis I'm gonna search for the middle point of this and place it like that so it's copied to the other side so I'm gonna select this obviously actually I'm gonna place two other reference points in the middle so I'm gonna say I'm gonna place the dimensions pick the middle of this and this dimension I'm gonna make it 500 millimeters. actually let's make it thousand millimeters and then this one also I'm gonna make it a thousand millimeters select this say array and then I'm gonna array this seat to the other reference plane and then I'm gonna set my constraints to last and then change this to maybe 25 let's see what we have so um, I will make them much closer so I'm gonna change the offset to 30 change the number of settings to 30 and this is what we have or perhaps I can make it 35 so I think 35 is fine 
so i'm gonna select one right click select all instances visible in view and then i'm gonna go back to the east delegation and then i'm gonna copy them by using this insertion point going upwards like this Just gonna place them like that if i go back to the 3d view select uh, select one and then right click and say select all instances visible in view i'm gonna go back to my floor plan and say mirror pick access i'm gonna pick the middle of this stair staircase and then all of these seats are gonna be copied to the other side so if i open up the 3d view this is basically what we have so we are essentially done with our stadium seating so the last thing that we need to model is obviously the deck for the shading and in order for us to do that we can go back to the east elevation so i'm gonna select this level and then i'm gonna manually adjust it at what's actually i'm gonna say i'm gonna place another level on this point so let me just place one level manually it manually towards the top of this landing so for this one we're gonna start with our beam so i'm gonna open up um, level two so on level two i'm gonna say structure and say column and then i'm gonna set it to height unconnected and then i'm gonna set it to seven thousand millimeters so i'm gonna place it like this change the level of detail to fine and then i'm gonna make these graphics like that so i'm gonna start placing it by using this reference line as my reference so i'm gonna place it like that uh, the offset from there to there let's just make it uh, i think we can make it uh, 200 let me just move it manually so from this point Perfect. So I'm just gonna say array, and then I'm gonna array it towards um, towards the other reference point like this. So the number of them, I'm gonna change it from two to fifty. Let's just make fifty of them. Now it's gonna configure them. So I think fifty is a lot. So I'm just gonna change it to thirty. Yeah, I think thirty is fine. And then. I'm gonna rename this reference plane to A. Go back to the east elevation, and then I'm gonna place my beam, go to beam, and say set my reference to reference plane A, and then I'm gonna place my beam like this at an angle. So the length I'm gonna make it 15,000 millimeters. Place it like that. Go to my dimension, say angular, and then I'm gonna place an angle between this in this plane so i'm gonna select this beam and then make the angle 100 degrees so if i say i'm gonna select this beam again go back to level one level zero and then actually level two sorry and then i'm gonna say array and then i'm gonna array it towards the other side and then i'm gonna change its number to 30 and press enter now if i go back to the 3d view this is this is how it looks so this is how it looks so in my original file i actually uh, place the connections but i'm not going to do it just for the sake of time in this tutorial so i'm just gonna place a roof but you can actually get that file with the connection on my patreon so if i go back to the east elevation i'm gonna say beam again and then place another i'm gonna place another beam used as a bracing so the offset i'm gonna make it 
5,000 millimeters and then I'm gonna place it then at an angle like this so you, you guys can choose your own angle if I go to the 3d view this is how it looks so I've selected that bracing go to level 2 and then press AR for array and then you're gonna array towards the other side change the number to 30 press enter open up the 3d view this is basically how it looks so go back to the east elevation and go to architecture and say roof roof by extrusion uh, set it to level 2 it's fine and say ok pick lines pick the top of this uh, beam and then choose roof generic 125 say finish edit mode and then you cannot you're gonna drag your roof towards the top of this beam like this and then if you open up the 3d view this is basically how it looks perfect so i'm gonna set it set this to realistic and this is basically your your grandstand or your stadium standing oh obviously there's another wall that's missing so i'm gonna go back to level zero structure wall make sure it's set to finish face exterior and then you're gonna press this point this tab to change it uh, so that you can be drawn on the inside and then you're gonna place it like that go to the 3d view select your wall this one is much easy to adjust so you're gonna place it like that and then on the soffit of the landing perfect so this is basically what we have uh, thank you for watching uh, I tried to keep it as simple as I could and I will see you guys on the next tutorial make sure you, you subscribe to my patreon and I have uh, these files uh, uploaded on my patreon so I'll see you guys on the next tutorial peace